I, you know, I'm, I'm going to be really fascinated to see those polls next week. I think he's going to go above 40. I don't know if it's going to be 10, but I do think that the president owns the terror, um, and uh, he owns the terror issue because there is no Democrat right now, and, and you can point to one if you'd like, that really has articulated a strong, specific way to deal with worldwide terrorism. Sure, there are. There are a bunch of them. There's Al Gore. There's Joe Biden. There's All right, well, well, hold on. No, this is fine. Al Gore. What is Al Gore's yes. specific plan to deal with worldwide terrorism? What Al Gore wants to do, which is very similar to what Bob Graham talked about in 2002, which is to start going after the terrorists wherever they are, not just in Iraq. That, in fact, Bob Graham said in 2002 that Hezbollah was someone that we sh or the group that we should be dealing with. Okay, let me stop you there. Securing weapons of mass destruction let me stop in, in, you there. in the former Soviet Union. Al Gore says he go after terrorists where they are. So does that mean that Al Gore violates Pakistani sovereignty and invades northern Pakistan to get Osama bin Laden? Is that what that means? You know, I think Democrats would, would argue that if the Pakistanis don't cooperate with us and we've got a package of uh, terrorists in Pakistan, that doing a strategic uh, operation in Pakistan may not be the worst thing. The problem okay. is well, well, the well, president well, chose... Well, no, no, no. no. Well, no the if problem you're going to go the after the terrorists where they are, it looks like bin Laden is up in north west Pakistan. Do you invade that country and get him? Yes or no? Let me tell you, if we had verifiable evidence that we knew where Osama bin Laden was, I would wholeheartedly support going okay. into Pakistan. I don't think Al Gore killed. would, but maybe I'm wrong. Hezbollah, we know where they are in southern Lebanon. Do you want to get the terrorists where they are? Does that mean that Al Gore sends American troops into southern Lebanon to fight side by side with the Israelis? I'm not here. I'm not going to argue all of Al Gore's points. Okay, you just brought tell you, him you up and you, you said he had I a brought, specific I plan and I'm now quizzing well. you on it. I brought up four other people as well. I brought up Hillary Clinton, right, you brought you up wanna, Joe Biden, Joe oh, Biden. Oh, wait, wait, well, Hillary Clinton. What's Hillary Clinton's, Clinton's specific plan to deal with worldwide terrorism? She wants to go after the terrorists uh -oh. where they are. Democrats <laughs> united Just on like Al Gore point. does. <laughs> Wherever the terrorists are, that's where we should be All focused. Right, so I'm assuming that... in Iraq. And I'm assuming we're that... In Iraq, we're limited. Okay, we're go I got it, I got it. I'm assuming if Hillary is elected president in 2008, that we will f then invade southern Lebanon and fight with the Israelis. We will invade Pakistan, violate their territorial sovereignty, and probably invade uh, a number of other countries where we know terrorists well, so you're are offering, given you're offering a false. You're offering a false choice. No, I'm not. That's fact, what Yes, if you no, go after no, them no, where they no, are, that's no, what you no. have to do. The question is whether or not invasion is the only way to go after terrorists. And All we right. can also go after terrorists using a variety of other means. Mr. Simmons, always a pleasure to see you. And it'll be interesting to see uh, how the polls read on President Bush next week. And next week, we'll wrap things up with the most ridiculous item of the day and some of your